Nick and Lex here. Hey everyone! How is it going guys? So tonight we're gonna react to um, pretty much something we have never heard of. It was a recommendation from Lightmane. Yes, thank you Lightmane so much. I saw you talking about this several times in the comments and we had it on our back burner until today. <laughs> we're like very good, uh, practically caught up and we're like, okay, let's do something we haven't Let's done do something before different. something different something new yeah and this is totally unexpected we have no idea what this is about i mean literally I, all we know is this this yes. image that we see mm -hmm. a room with two lamps mm -hmm. that's it uh we did see that a lot of people are reacting to mm -hmm. it um so we never do this we're never pretty much caught up so let's maybe for once you know <laughs> do uh what everybody else is doing mm -hmm. so i don't know what kind of music this is nothing i Me have neither. no idea Me so neither. we're just gonna walk in completely blind like how oh, we love it but thanks everyone for watching if yes. you don't know the channel uh we do all sorts of reactions my wife and i mm -hmm. and um yeah check us out okay <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's, let's go. Started. Thank you. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program. Rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you To guide you Remind you To manage expectations Provide you perspective That thing you neglected I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix Forget it 
Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with his subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original. You criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great And I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth Your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you Say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose it Die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside Newsflash, I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that capitalizes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of hell. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Oh Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawn Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch your shame. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different sides When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. 
It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> wow. I have so much to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so let's uh let's take this down that was that was so good okay <clears throat> so where to begin first of all i guess the musical style was super cool um we don't cover a lot of um hip-hop on the channel mm -hmm. which is unfortunate because we've tried and it's been kind of like rejected mm -hmm. because of the generation of people that we uh, react to. It's more like the 70s and, and the, yeah, like the 60s and 70s. And and uh, I don't know. I, I've tried, you know, some hip hop like Run DMC. Mm -hmm. We've did some, what else? Um, I can't. Rush, when we did Rush. Oh, that Even Rush, a band that's progressive rock, we mm -hmm. tried. And it had a little bit of rap and it got a lot of, negative uh, negativity and so we kind of like said okay we, we ju we're just gonna give up but i I'm, I'm happy that we did this i've always been a fan of of uh of rap and hip-hop um and a lot of people know this you know mm -hmm. this um i used to listen to beastie boys run mc and you know snap and <laughs> you know mc hammer and i didn't know any of that yeah so the, but i mean yeah. you, you were you ever into like eminem or, or stuff like that very few songs and and this is a little bit what it reminded me of but speaking about like him there's so much to say because first the lyrics so many thoughts were coming into my mind right like first i was like wow he's really good at guitar yeah and i'm like <laughs> okay that is so cool the way he plays the quality of the recording is awesome like this is very cool and then the whole back and forth thing started and it was so obvious yes like, the back and forth i want to like add a little bit you Mm -hmm. maybe if you want to focus on the lyrics but what i loved about when he was doing one side of his you know inner being it was like major chords and then he would switch to the other one it was m minor uh -huh. chords so it has this happy awesome. sad okay. happy sad yeah and that's uh, why it was so evident too, it was that the music, yes and yeah. also the camera angles but if you want to like focus more on the lyrics and as people i know people and uh we have people in the family and even ourselves who have suffered from you know mental illness and uh you know uh you know fear you know fear and uh, it's very hard mm -hmm. and people in some countries we, we used to live in mexico and people look at you like you're like an alien or something because you have certain things mm -hmm. and you have like um anxiety or or fear so yeah it's very difficult to live in a country where that is not accepted mm -hmm. but yeah yeah, um, exactly. So I really liked how he did that whole, like, portrayal, you know? And I love that you mentioned that it was major and minor chords because that's <laughs> why the music went along so perfectly all the time. Yeah. Um, I worked in uh, criminal justice for many years, and stories like this were... Every day. every day every day every every everything <laughs> you <laughs> know because yes because this is the root of so much that happens like in our world you know um so it's wonderful to have someone speaking openly about this and and sharing it in this way that is so accessible to so many of us you know and so wonderful that he's using his talents because he has several oh, his wow. voice his 
when he did the like operatic voice. Du, 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 du. Yeah, I wow, love that wonderful. too. Wonderful, and the scales and everything were just so mm. classical and mixed with. I don't know. Yeah, I love also the 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 just the intros. Like, wow, that almost sounds like classical guitar. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. And then just the chords he was playing. And sometimes he would just recur to very simple things, mm -hmm. just like as picking an, a note, mm -hmm. you know, on a, on one, with one finger. Mm -hmm. But it's so effective how yes. he did it. And um, first, when he was brought in, I was like, wow, this, what is this? You mm -hmm. know, like, is this like saw? Or, mm -hmm. um, But then, <laughs> you right? <laughs> yeah. But then uh, he started, and I just loved how how it was shot uh, from all different angles. Mm -hmm. And then the monologue he did yeah. um, at the end was just yes. very powerful. Yes. And I think that's why it got you the yes, most, right? Yes, because I was like, wow. I mean, I felt it this whole time, but that's just so close to me because I love to help people and mm -hmm. I love just being able to, I don't know, listen to people. So the fact that he has opened up so much to so many is is wonderful and it's admirable yeah. because yeah, it takes a lot of guts we should all be that way at least with one person but if we can do it with more the more you say it and the more ears listen to it the more energy that is getting back to you to help you heal so it's good to open up and and i just love that i also loved like you know when he said oh i'm not in this for like the fame i'm doing this like for myself and, and bs you know honestly. and and i don't want to do what other people do and it's funny because that's what we talked about at the beginning you know how we <laughs> like usually stick to like we we don't usually stick to what other like channels or people mm -hmm. are listening to because we like doing our own thing of course there are times when we know something we're going to listen to is going to give us a lot of views, but we heard positive things about this, you know? Yeah. Like all the thumbnails and when all the stuff was like... When I was convinced when I saw Jim Newstead, and shout if you out. haven't seen him, mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Jim Newstead if you haven't seen his channel. What he said in the description is basically what, what made me want to yes. do it because it's like, this is one of the most important things I've seen. Yes. That's when I was like, okay, mm -hmm. now it's... Uh, yes and, now, and I it want, is, now i'm intrigued exactly and that says so much about him and because this is something that is important to know about and and to talk about and to acknowledge and in today's world we don't necessarily like acknowledge these things or or know how to talk about them so it's it's great to be able to share this message you know yeah yeah um, i loved it and uh, it's i i, I i'm really I really hope that, uh, you know, even our viewers, you know, who are uh, a bit older and mm -hmm. they listen more to, like I said, stuff from the 60s and 70s mm -hmm. are can open up a little bit and just, you know, embrace, mm -hmm. even though it's new, even though it's mm -hmm. more like on the hip hop side, on the rap side. Uh, let's not discriminate because it's still art. I've always yes. considered rap an art form. And we just saw an mm -hmm. amazing documentary on, you know, rap and break dancing mm -hmm. and, and graffiti and all that stuff. And all that stuff gets rejected a lot because it's supposedly like negative and stuff. And mm -hmm. I, I'm not uh, I don't agree with that at all. Mm -hmm. I've always loved, I agree. you know, that those kind of art, art forms. Mm -hmm. Being a musician myself, yes. as you can see, the guitars, I've never rejected um rap or hip hop at all. Mm -hmm. So I hope this like opens the Especially door. Especially when the lyrics are as deep as this, which a lot of rap yeah. and hip hop. I'm not I mean are. I'm not like saying, hey, I love gangster rap because I don't, but when it's like, you know, rap like I don't know, like if you ever heard lyrics to Run DMC or, you know, Public Enemy, it's it's really positive, mm -hmm. you know, and uh I think it should be listened to and enjoyed and mm -hmm. and you I know. agree. So, yeah, this was wonderful. And <laughs> my heart goes out to anyone who has been in this situation, has a loved one in this situation, um, because this is something that we all struggle with. And, you know, so 
I just wanted to say that. And thank you, everyone, for watching this. Thank this you, This was guys. wonderful. Thank you, Lightmane. Uh, credit, big, big shout out to Lightmane because he <laughs> put it in the comments yeah. and we trust him and we listen. So thank you very much. We hope to see you all in the next one. Thank Bye, you, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.